Going back to our code here, in this video, we are going to start looking at how to understand XML drawables and how to draw things using XML. So what we can do, we can go to our drawable folder here, right click, say new, it's a drawable resource file. Okay, we're going to give it a name. In this case, we're just going to call shape. Okay, and make sure it's under drawable. And we're going to say okay. And this happens. Let's get rid of our preview here. Now, we don't want a selector, we want a shape. So the moment you type shape, there it is, say enter. And there we go. The next thing we're going to add at the end here, we're going to say enter, and we're going to say shape. And then you notice right away we have options for oval, line, rectangle, ring. So let's start with a rectangle right now. So we have now defined that this shape here is going to be a rectangle, which means inside of our parent node, right, our XML here inside, we can start putting things. The moment you open the less than bracket here, you notice you have different things you can do. We have stroke, corners, gradient, padding, size, solid. So all of these are properties we can shape, we can add to our shape. So let's start with stroke. The stroke is going to be, uh, we want the stroke width, there we go, we want it to be, let's say about 1 dp, again, independent pixel there. And what else, what other property we want, let's say we want to make it so that the color, type color, we want it to be, uh, we can either add directly a hex code, or we can just go and get, for instance, uh, this color primary here, you notice it's from at color folder. Okay, so there we go. And then we need to close our tag here. So now we have our stroke, which is going to be we put down there, which is going to be 1 dp, the width, and the color is going to be the color primary. And the cool, the great thing here, we also have this aid here, okay, which tells us what color this is going to be. Okay, now the next question is then how do we are we going to use this? Well, before we even do that, we can actually click here, say preview, and it tells you exactly how this is going to look. We say it's going to be a rectangle, and there we go, and it's going to be with the stroke 1 dp, if we change to 3 dp, for instance, you notice the stroke is larger, wider, I should say. Okay, let's keep it 3 dp. In order for us to use this shape in our application, what we can do, we can go back to our activity main. We can go back to our main activity here, content here, and what we can do, and for instance, we get this button here. Let me open preview again. Let's get one of these buttons. How about this one or that one? Let's get this one. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to say background. And you notice the moment you put background, there's a lot of options here. We can pass a color, which we've done before. Uh, we can pass other things from the Android ecosystem. Okay. But we can also pass a drawable. You notice now we have this drawable shape, which is exactly what we just created a few seconds ago. The moment we say enter, and all of a sudden, you notice that we have our button there. Save this and give it a run to see in actual in action on in our emulator. You will see that our button is indeed looking great. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Now you can start seeing things that we can do when we design our applications, right? We can create drawables using XML, we can create shapes and so forth. How about create a different shape? Let's go back to our shape here. Instead of a rectangle here, what if we want to change this to say oval or let's see line for instance. Would that work? Let's see what that would be. That's just going to be a line. All right, let's save this and go back to here. And you notice there is our line. All right, so it's just all crossed. Very nice. Save, give it a quick run because it's always fun to look at things through our emulator here. Let's see what is that going to look like. Oh, look at that. But you also notice the moment we add a custom background or a custom 
um, drawable to our user interface elements here, we lose other things. Like now we notice this button here is the default button. We have this tactile feedback, right? Animation. But now once we add our own, we lose that capability. We can add our own, of course, using animations ourselves, which we'll see later. But I just wanted to show you the beauty of using Drawable XML to actually start creating amazing user interfaces. What other shape can we do? Let's go back here. Perhaps we can do oval. There we go. There's an oval. Very nice. We go ahead and save. Go back to the content here. You notice there is our oval there. Well, obviously, there's a lot of other things we can do. So we said stroke here. We can also add other properties. So we want me to open angular bracket there. We can have stroke, which we use. We have corners. We have gradient. We have padding. We have side. We have solid. And so on. let's look at let's look at padding. So we can the moment you say padding and space, there's different options. There's bottom padding, left padding, right top. Paddings. So let's start with bottom. Let's say we want bottom to be about, we can either use our dimensions as you can see here, this option. Let's use the 16 dimensions there. Okay, we can say uh, top. We can also give 16. Let's say uh, left. And give it that there. And right. And also the same. Of course, we have to close it. And there we go. So this, that means now we have a padding that will be included inside here, whatever is around it. Okay, so let's go back and take a look. And it's hard to see, but we do have a padding inside here, okay, of our shape. So there's all sort of things you can do with your shapes or um, XML drawables that you can include them into your user interfaces. Okay, and of course, if we are able to add them into a, a button, that means we can also add them into our main user interface here, right? If you look at the relative layout, we can also add a background here. For instance, you can say background and add shape. And you notice now the whole screen is now showing the shape, right? The oval shape. Very nice. If we want it, you notice now this shape is indeed oval, which means it's not solid circle. So that means if we wanted to change it to be a, a, a solid, meaning that we would have actually a color inside here, we can easily go ahead and say, I'm going to say solid as such. And we have to pass the color in which that we want to put in the middle, right? So let's use the this one such let's see and there we go right so now we made sure we filled the whole shape with this color here of course if we go back to our content here you see now that everything is filled with that color very very nice all right so go ahead and play around with this concept create as many shapes and add different values as we as you want and add different properties okay change these properties maybe for different numbers um, and just and just play around with this and uh, I promise you you won't break anything and if you do you will I'm very confident that you'll be able to unbreak those things or to fix them <laughs> okay all right perfect I'll see you in the next video